What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Lizzo has been turning out a lot of controversy. I would say just in the last uh, few months, the last one to two months, maybe even three, and, and a lot of this comes about this whole idea of fat shaming um, from people who abuse her on Instagram, who abuse her on Facebook, people that don't like the things that she posts. And so, um, you know, she's been crying about this and people have been coming out, you know, saying uh, really nasty things about her appearance, really nasty things about um, what she looks like and uh, so Facebook and Instagram have started to remove hateful comments about what it is uh, that they don't like about what they're saying on her profiles. And comments that have removed, um, that break the company's rules about hate speech and harassment have been um, removed. Now, anything that had to deal with being fat phobic or being racist um, have been removed or they're removing them and I don't know if there's some disciplinary action for those particular users of those accounts uh, but you know similar is similarly is something that happens here on YouTube uh, as a content creator I receive a lot of hate um, every day I get it, you know, death threats, you know, uh, people want to talk about they're going to whip my ass and you know, just all kind of sound up stuff, you know, and I, it's the show. I really don't care nothing about y'all like that. So I'm not even really tripping because y'all breath stink anyway, but I, I understand, you know, uh, about getting trolled. Kevin Samuels does too, but to the level of Lizzo, I, I, I could just guess, you know, what, what she goes through, but I have noticed something even about my content here on YouTube. And, uh, and I noticed this with Brother Kevin Samuels. I've noticed this with uh, you know other guys who are just really focused on the content. That if you don't want controversy, um, don't do things that are controversial. That you know that people are going to have something to say about. And we, we have to really think about Lizzo and, and some of the attention that she, she garners with the sexualization and the twerking and the uh, doing some of the stuff. And, and you have people who are idiots out there, right? People who are trolls. People who are um, really mean-spirited. And of course, for somebody like me, I'm not crazy about Lizzo. I'm not gonna go and comment on her stuff. I do celebrity, so I, I do cover trending topics. So I wouldn't waste my time, but you do have people who are like that. And the reality is, is that Lizzo cries for attention. And really, while Facebook and Instagram probably feel they're doing the right thing, which they are, they're really going to hurt Lizzo because what happens when um, there's nothing else to cry about? So when Facebook and Instagram, you can't say people are trolling you because those comments are removed. They 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 put that out there. What else are you gonna say then? And it's gonna revert back to well, it's not those commenters that make you sad because to be fair enough, everybody gets trolled. Everybody, uh, even on Black YouTube, Jay Z, Beyonce, people come and say mean things because people are crazy. The reality is is that Lizzo gets a lot of attention from crying and complaining more than she does her own music. And at the end of the day, which is what I feel, no matter how much Facebook and Instagram come to her defense, it's not going to make Lizzo's life happy. And that is for the fact Lizzo wants to be accepted by certain people that are just not going to accept her. And so you'll, 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 you'll find a certain way for her to start complaining about things again. And the reality is, is that there is something that you have to do 
to get to where you want to be. People, just because you silence them, that doesn't mean that they don't feel a certain way. I've noticed that. You know, we live in America where people think that the racism problem is not as bad as it used to be. I, I would argue that maybe in certain cases it could be worse. And the reality is, is that now you have no idea how subtle it is. Whereas, you know, even 30, 40 years ago, it was quite okay for other groups of people to disparage you now people can't really say what they want to say and it's more under wraps so if you don't get the job you don't know why uh if you don't get into certain things you don't know why now i will say the world is a little bit of a better place now but you just don't really know what you're dealing with in that situation with lizzo people can be silenced about it but that doesn't mean that those people support you it just means they're not talking about it. It's the same thing with dating the black community. We have so many black men who are dating non-black women, dating white women, marrying them, marrying other groups. They don't talk about these things, right? A lot of African-American men don't do that. They just, just move on. If they feel there's a problem, they just move on. They don't, they don't talk about it at all. It's silenced, but they don't elaborate and they just move on. So really the problem that Lizzo is going to be still facing is the fact that what she wants doesn't want her. That's one of the problems. One of the problems also is that she's unhappy with herself and she needs to do something to make herself feel better. And if she doesn't do those things, those two problems are still going to be there. And those feelings are not going to be removed. Just like many sisters who, you know, let's say for example, if they can't get a man and you know, you, you, you shut men down and you shut men out of speaking their opinion the same realities are going to exist like before the black manosphere and what was going on in the black america when when black men were utterly silent we still had a single motherhood rate that was high we still had um black men not marrying black women you still had a high rate of black men dating interracially people just wasn't saying anything about it that problem was still there you know it's like the cold war and see that's what lizzo doesn't want to understand those issues are still relatively there and facebook and instagram can't can help you you know remove those comments it can't help you uh, be happy they can't help you find a man it won't help you desire the guys that you want to be with be with you it's not going to help people accept you as being beautiful or being attractive which is what i believe to believe that you want none of those things are gonna they're gonna help you do they can support you as much as they would like to but if you, you can't, and another thing too, you can't change how people feel about you. That's why I don't even care. People don't like me on YouTube or say things. I, I, I don't give a shit. I just really don't. I really wish I, I had, I wish I had a, uh, I wish I had to give you. I really do. I, I just don't. Cause you will be going crazy trying to chase everybody. You know, trying to get support for everybody. You know, and, and wonder why they don't like you. If they don't like you, who cares? I like myself, that's all that matters, right? But many people don't have that position. And that's why we are where we are. Well guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe, hit the bell, check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all time high. I'm out.